One of the most common questions that people ask and you see the rumors spread is whether or not this SARS-CoV-2 was engineered. According to the papers and phylogeny, and when you look at the sequence of this virus to the existing natural coronaviruses out there, you see that there's absolutely no way this virus was engineered. And there are a few critical data points to make this happen. If someone were to engineer a virus, what you would have to do is look at related viruses and look at clues and then use those clues to engineer your virus. This is called reverse genetics. And there is no evidence that SARS-CoV-2 was reverse engineered based on those sequences and the SARS-CoV-2 sequence. The other piece of evidence is that if you were to engineer a virus, the best thing you could do is do computational modeling of its spike protein and the receptor it's interacting with and try to make predictions of how to make this spread faster or be more deadly. Now, when people looked at the sequence of the spike protein, it turns out that none of the changes in SARS-CoV-2 compared to the other viruses are anything what the computational biologists would have predicted. The other thing is, if people really wanted to make a bioweapon of some kind, they don't even have to engineer a coronavirus. There are a lot of viruses out there, such as smallpox, that would be devastating if they re-emerged on the planet today. Last but not least, if we were really good at engineering things based on predictions, we would use that science to try to cure diseases faster and engineer drugs much faster. And even there, scientists are struggling because this isn't that intuitive. We learn from nature and we can only make the best predictions and models, most of which turn out to be wrong as proven through experiments. Based on data today, there is no evidence that SARS-CoV-2 was engineered in a lab. We know this because when we look at computational structure of its spike protein binding to the host receptor, any predictions that the humans make actually are not what ended up in SARS-CoV-2 today. This suggests natural evolution of the virus either in an animal before it jumped into humans or a jump into humans and then evolution in humans in the early stages of infection before it became the pandemic today. If you found this information helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.